Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie. This is my Crafty Dan. And today I am going to do another plan with me. This is my bullet journal planner. This is a Yates bullet journal that I purchased off of Amazon. Um, if I can find the link to this, I will post it down below. I have to start looking soon because I have to buy three new ones for next year because I'm going to use a bullet journal again next year in my planning. I have been so happy with this setup now that I've tweaked it and got it right where I want it. I love using this planner. So this is the week of September the 25th to October the 1st. It's week number 39 in 2023. And let's get going. So I've already put down the week and the date here in the top left-hand corner. I've got three pages cut down in the middle of my weekly setup. And I use my front page and my back page as well as these three for my weekly setup. So I'm going to do this from scratch this week. Um, I've had people asking me, someone sent me a private message actually, and asked me if I could do a setup from scratch again because they really wanted to see how I did this. So I have done what I always do. I've got some pencil line sheet marks in here just because when you get counting, sometimes you lose track and you make a mistake. And if you put a few cheat lines in here with your pencil, they can be erased later and you don't have to worry about it as much. You don't make as many mistakes this way by doing a little pre-planning for your setup. So this is 12 rolls of fall washi tapes. I think this one is a, this is an Amazon purchase, I believe. If it's not, I'll post it down below regardless. But these 12 rolls of washi are absolutely perfect for fall. Like I said, it's fall going into Halloween. So what about some polka dots, some plaid, and then some of this, um, I know if it's an Argyle sock, they have this pattern on it, but I can't remember. Harlequin pattern, maybe? Um, I can't, I'm not sure what this pattern is called. Leave me a comment if you know. For some reason, Harlequin is sticking in my head. So I might use some other washi in here as well, but I think this is the trio that I'm going to use. So let's start with this one. I am going to take myself a piece that's long enough to do my whole page and hang over a little bit because I'm going to trim it top and bottom. I turn my journal sideways or my planner. It's a planner now. And I am going to put this down there nice and straight and then I'm going to fold this over like this. So just giving it a little fold down like that. Then I'm going to do this one with the next one. That's the plaid. And then I'll do the Harlequin as well. So these pages are cut so that they're stepped a little wee bit. So I've got this one on here. So I have two. I'm going to overhang that one just to there. Okay, then I'm going to take my scissors
And there I have my three middle pages. So that's, I'm doing that first so that when I draw these lines on here, I don't make a mistake over my washi tape. So I'm just going to push these to the side because I'm going to use those again, I think. I've got my I've got my coffee on the go. I'm using a Ray Dunn Halloween mug. If you can see that, it's got a jack-o'-lantern on it. It's not too soon to get your Halloween decor out. I mean, yeah, it's not too soon. It just isn't. So, <laughs> um, I'm not going to even use a ruler this week. I'm just going to go through and do all my lines freehand and what marker am I going to use for that? I have a little bit, one of these pages that I cut off. So I think I'm going to use the two shades of orange. There's enough of a contrast in these. So just one on this side and one on this side as I'm flipping through. I'm just going to start with this one. So I don't mind the jangy lines. I, I actually kind of feel like I need to just embrace them. Notice I'm not trying to make them straight too. That's the other thing. If you're going to freehand, don't try to make your lines straight. If you do, you're going to end up with exactly what you're trying to do, I guess is what I'm saying. So if you try to make your lines straight and then you make a mistake, you're gonna notice your mistake. I think I'm just gonna go through and put my dots in while I'm going. And then I don't have to go back and do them later. So I did that one on that side. So on this page, I'm gonna use the darker orange. And I'm going to do the same thing all the way through to my last page. Okay, so I've got all my boxes and I've got all my checkpoints in. So these are just for checklists. And I am going to do the titles, my headers in a dark brown this week, I think. So I've already done this part in the, my black pen, but I'm just gonna put some color. Just right over the top like this. I mean, this marker is a Crayola Super Tip, so it's got a nice chunky tip on it but that's okay so I'm gonna do the same thing with all of my headers I'm just gonna put everything down in pan and then I'm gonna go over it in brown and I know that's kind of overkill I just like the way it looks Okay, so now I want to put a little bit of fall decor in here because as you can see, I've got this whole area here and this whole area here. So I can put something really pretty down. So let's see what we have. I just got some fall and Halloween washies from the washi tape shop. And you'll have just seen that haul. 
I absolutely love them. So I have this one and it's just a washi tape. It's not, you know, it's not a wide or anything like that. But I just think it would be so pretty across the bottom of this page to ground it on both sides. So I'm going to cut a piece for here, which is going to be that. And then I'm going to cut a piece for over here as well, which is going to be to there. And I'm going to put this across the bottom. This is not, I mean, although it's black and orange, it has these fall color leaves and mushrooms. Just really pretty to go across there. Okay, I'm going to take that little wee bit off of there because it's just going over that line a little bit too much. I'm just using this little tool that I got from Timu for something like 88 cents. It's just got this tiny little blade on the end and it pops out like that. So I have that. Now I'm going to go to this wide washi. So these washies, this one here is mostly these Halloween pictures, but this one has a couple that are strictly fall that are absolutely gorgeous and these are stickers so look at that i just have to peel that off of there and i have this absolutely gorgeous fall pumpkin arrangement that's gonna go right here and let's see, there's this boot that is also a fall arrangement. I mean, that's got, it's got a little bit of a web on there, but it's not strictly Halloween. So that's perfect. And here's another boot. That one's really pretty. And that is that one again. Do I want to use that on the other side as well? I don't think I do. I think I'm going to look for something else. I have that little bit of fall. Then right down here beside that boot, there's this tiny little blue berry or gray colored berry and this little leaf that I can throw in there. And I mean, if that's all I did, that would still be absolutely gorgeous. And then I have this, which is part of the autumn, um, what's this one called? Oh, good gosh, guys. Um, it's a set of three rolls of washi, and each one has a different, um, two different girls and wardrobe sets on here. I've used it. I didn't use it last week. I think I used it at the beginning of the month. So I used it way back at the beginning of the month, and I want to use it again. But I just, I don't think I'm going to put the whole wardrobe in. I'm just going to put this girl in here like that. And I'm going to put a few of these little leaves and things like that just falling down around her. I'm going to take this trying to make it a little easier to get these small ones off of here. All 
I got to cut that little bit off the piece that I'm working with. I have to cut this off there. There, so that's that side. Very fall. Not so much Halloween, but very fall. And I'm going to do the same type of thing on this page over here. Uh, what girl will I use? I like this one here as well. Just because she's got the same color tones in her. This one says Autumn Travel. This is called Fall Breeze Three Piece Washi Tape Sticker Set, and it's from the Washi Tape Shop. I'm going to put her up a little higher just so that she's not even. And I'm going to put a whole bunch of these little bits in here. So I love it. I love that the, the base down here kind of grounds my page. I've got this whimsical little bit up here. They are so adorable. I love this Fall Breeze washi set. I think it's so cute. Um, and this just brings that whole orange. Everything fall to me is orange, orange and brown. So uh, I know that you have those reds and yellows and fall leaf colors and things, but they haven't really started yet. They're just starting to turn, but I've started putting out my fall pumpkins all around my house and I stick to those oranges and browns. So this is this is my style. So I know this looks a little Halloween-ish, but that's okay because this is October the 1st right here. So we can, we can get away with that. This is transitioning into Halloween month, guys. And Halloween isn't on October the 31st. It's all of October. <laughs> that's it, guys. This is this week's spread in my bullet journal. So a quick rundown on the steps to do this. The first thing I do is cut out my three center pages, making sure that I add a row of lines to each one so that I get this stepped effect. And then I flip it over here and put a little dot up here so I know where this is gonna go to and I don't go over. And I do the same on the back here to make sure that I don't go over here. Because when I have this laying flat from anywhere, any day, I wanna be able to see my decor all the way around. The next thing I do is add my week so I know what I'm working with or where I'm working. And then I add all of my boxes. It took me a while to tweak these boxes to have exactly what I wanted in my planner, but you can do that too. You could use this as a jumping off point and then tweak it or go on YouTube, watch a ton of setup, weekly setup videos because you're going to find what you love. I took tons of what I saw other people do and tweaked it week after week after week until I got what was perfect for me. I add all my boxes, I add all my checkpoints, I add in my headers, and I add in my little bit of color wash over all my words, then I decorate, and I am done. And this is so much fun. This is like a creative outlet when you're doing a setup from scratch. So I hope you enjoyed this week. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate that. If you want, leave me a comment. 
And if you don't know what to say, just say, hi, I'm watching from, and let me know what part of the world you live in. I think that that would be amazing. I want to know where everybody's watching from. So I'll add a link in the videos to the washi tape shop, but you can just go to the washi tape shop.com and they have all kinds of new uh, fall and Halloween releases they just start they just put out a new release for washi tapes after I got this one of course yeah I missed it so I may still go on and order some and keep them for next year I mean yeah that's my spread I love you guys I am so glad you come back every week and watch these videos I hope this inspires somebody to do their own planner from scratch and see how well it works for you I'll see everybody in the next video until then bye bye for now everyone take care